<sighs> Welcome to Dispatched, an indie horror game? Honestly, I don't even remember. I downloaded it because it looked interesting, and the intro, the way the game launched on my desktop was really cool. Like, the, it was like a transparent screen, and then like blood splattered all over my desktop, rather than it just boot up to black sort of thing. It was really damn cool. Uh, otherwise... Oh shit, it's detecting my mic, too. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh, voice recognition. I wonder what it'll be used for. But otherwise, we're gonna just turn down the uh, the hertz to 120. And hopefully that doesn't mess with my recording. Eh. Uh, password, though. I guess it could be anything. I'll just kind of type boop. And that's like to start the game, you type in your police password? Hello? Hey there, son. I noticed that you haven't been filling out the reports on the calls you've been doing recently. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... About what? Like I said to you before, this isn't on you. No uh, one's blaming you. Something bad happened? All on the job? He shouldn't have gone in the way he did. He should have waited for the right people to come and... Like I said... No one's blaming you for that. Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? I hope you feel better soon. I'll keep in touch. Well, okay. County keyboard. Wait, why is the numpad... Yeah, num lock or num num numpad ca caps lock and scroll on. We need an ambulance, quick! Oh, uh, uh calm down. What's happening? He's happened? going to die. Oh God, how could I let this happen? Uh, who's going to die? Gus is. Uh, what's happened to him? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. Is he allergic to nuts? Well, no, but dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? Uh, he'll be fine, just call a vet. <sighs> Gus the dog. Okay, so that's cool. It can actually uh, determine, like, I have a good quality microphone, so it's not like it'll deal with a lot of fuzziness, too, which helps. That's cool. But I wonder if the dog died because of me now. Uh, cat stuck on a tree. Wait, what? Uh, what? My dog ate chocolate. A young man shot and killed in an attempted robbery. Was that what they may be talking about? Woman was cooking pancakes for her partner and some butter splashed onto... What? Finally! I was beginning to think I would never get an answer. Uh, this is 911. What is your emergency? That wasn't much of an apology. What is the emergency? Also, suck my dick. Being forced out of this shop unwillingly. It's 3 a.m. It's got an hour ago, man. I am a paying customer, and you cannot force me to leave. A Karen. What is your name? You don't have the right to know my name. I'm sorry, I cannot help you. Dumbass. Useless. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. <laughs> Fuck. Glad to be of service. <laughs> Karen. Uh, Karen in shopping mall. Or Karen, um, being annoying. There we go, that's, that, that's accurate. Okay, so let's see. Those are all the 20th. I can't read the, uh, I can't 
Chris Stone. I, uh, Nine one one. What is your emergency? Hello. Someone is trying to get into my house. All right. What is your address? It's fifty four Raymond Street. Uh, do you know who they are? It's got to be my ex husband. Uh, what is he doing? He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. Is he being threatening? He's trying all the doors and asking to see her. Asking to see who? Sophie? She's our daughter. She lives with me. He gets visits. I see. I'll get a unit on the way to help calm things. Eden is on the way, stay calm. How long are they going to take? It's going to be some time, you may have to confront him. Sophie! Come on, where are you? I'm going to give the phone to my daughter and try to talk to him. Um Can you keep him busy until the police show up? He won't stop until he finds her. Pass me to your daughter. Hello? Uh, hi, are you okay? Yes. My mom said I needed to talk to you. What's going on? Uh, what did your mom tell you? My dad was being silly, and that I needed to stay here. That's right, we're playing a game. Are they playing hide and seek? Uh, yes, your mom has just gone to find him. It's okay. Where are you in the house? I'm I'm downstairs in the living room. It would be better if you went to your room. But, but why? Why can't they just stop fighting? Uh, they will, but you need to go upstairs. Oh, okay. I'm gonna run past them and go into my room. Past them? Pa past them? Stop it. Stop it. Let her go. Um, you stupid ass child. I didn't tell you to run past them. Oh my god. <sighs> what was that sound? Fuck are these noises? Has your dad hurt your mom? Yes, yes, he pushed her, and now she's bleeding. Where are you now? I'm, I'm upstairs in my room. I can, I can hear him breaking stuff. 
Can you hide somewhere in your room? Here's my wardrobe. I, I could fit in there. Get inside and stay quiet. Please help my mom. I can smell burning. What do you mean? Upstairs. Stay quiet and don't move. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to stop talking. Sophie, are you in here? I'm sorry. Please come out. Nika Chelberg? Why is the monitor named after PewDiePie, by the way? Is this in hopes that PewDiePie will play this? I mean, it's a cool game. Voice activated everything. It's like everything that happens on the phone is projected onto this guy's imagination. Uh, hopefully, but you need to leave now. I can't get out of here on my own. Please, please tell him to help. Dispatch, this is Unit 8908 approaching the property now. We need fire services here ASAP. The child is trapped inside. How bad is the fire? It's pretty bad. Looks like it started on the first floor. Where is the kid? In a wardrobe upstairs. We might be able to get in and out in time if we knew which room she was in. Sophie, I need you to go to a window and open it. No, there's too much smoke. Just tell them to come and find me. Go to a window, they'll be able to figure out where you are, please trust me. Just don't breathe in the fucking smoke. Hold your breath and open the fucking window. Jesus Christ. Well done. Please be quick. I see her. Stay there, kid. We're coming. Horrible voice acting, but... <laughs> Come here, kid. I got you. It's alright. Yeah. We're getting out of here. Demonic projections. No guilt for me today. Fuck you. The hell. Come on. Some stupid internal demon showing up of guilt. The kid got rescued, I don't care. Some people, I guess, could play the game and the kid could die by wrong choices, but I guess I'd do good. I don't know if the mother's always going to end up like that, or if that's the consequence of mother always gets shoved, but kid will die or won't die, depending on what you've said, but... That, is that the end of the game? Like, after s signing some forms and all that, and I didn't even get to use any of the major forms? Inspired by young Seti's, my final call as a police dispatcher has scarred me. Huh. Could be, I guess, an interesting watch and or read. I was expecting a lot bigger of a game. Is that really it? Shit. This is the kind of game, honestly, you could make it hours long. This could be a huge game. The potential I see in this is massive. Whether it's inspired by a little short one story or not, there's a lot of potential. I mean, with whole demonic internal internal demon things and situational problems horror-wise happening, um... Not being so rushed, I guess, but if it was like drawn out with different scenarios, both a minor and major, and filling out the actual form, because really the, the form meant nothing then, ultimately. But I was expecting and trying to fill it out like a professional would, like being a top quality police officer, filling out the forms, and but ultimately that was worthless in this, since it was so short. But if your actions had consequences and legit had consequences besides the child possibly dying or possibly living, 
there's a lot of potential. There's just a lot of potential. I, I could see this game being like, you know, two, three, five hours, maybe not five, let's say two to three hours long with different dispatch events. Maybe being able to get up and make, make get up and move around in, in intermissions. Like make it so it's like you do dispatch, you stay in the room, but you get up and eat a donut or you examine things on the wall, uh, interactable stuff. And then when you get a call, you immediately pick up and become the professional. Or fuck around. Sky's the limits. But that was... The game just has a lot of potential, I could see. Definitely a lot of potential. Um, for a lot of things to play out. And a lot of consequences and different endings. But outside of that, no, it was really enjoyable. It was a, quite the surprise. But again, I... It, it's just disappointing that it's just so short. But I hope you enjoyed like I did, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Arrgh.